Hi everyone, I'm Pat McGowan and I'm the Funeral Management Instructor here at the Pittsburgh Institute of Mortuary Science. Uh, and today is Mock Removal Day here at PIMS. It's one of my favorite days when faculty and staff work with students in small teams uh, to help them get introduced to taking a first call and making removals. So let's get started. First up is the first call. The first call is when the funeral home receives a phone call that someone has died. The students learn the information they need to take from the caller as well as good listening skills. We like to throw them into some unique situations to make sure they're paying attention. Thank you for calling Adams Family Funeral Home. This is Candace speaking. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm calling to report. Uh, uh, we, we just have death at home. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's okay, calm down, we're oh, here to so help. Oh. It's okay. Everywhere. Oh boy, can I ask you who passed away? Yeah, it's my, uh, my brother-in-law, uh, Jerry. Your brother-in-law, Jerry? Yeah. And what's your name? Uh, my name's Ted. Ted? Okay. Where are you, are you at home? Uh, no, I'm at my, uh, I'm, in, I'm in his house. Uh, my sister's house. You're at your sister's house? Okay. Uh, where where does she live? Uh, the, the address is um, 5808 Baum Boulevard. That, that's, uh, that's on East Liberty. It's okay. We're here to help. Okay. And what's the best number to reach you, Ted? 412-596-5779. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Has anybody been there? Have, has have the police come or anything like that? Uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, there was a police officer here earlier. Okay. How, how old was Jerry? Uh, he was, uh, oh my gosh, 59. 59? Okay. All right. Well, listen, Ted, calm down. Um, we'll be there soon. Can I get your last name? Yeah, my, my last name is Williams. Williams? And what's Jerry's last name? Uh, his last name's Edwards. Edwards. Okay. And and what's what's his wife's name? Uh, yeah, my my sister. Uh, his wife's name is uh, Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. Okay. Is she there? She is. Yeah, okay. We, we got her out of the room though. It, it's it's not good. Okay. Okay. Well, we will be there soon. Okay. I'll call you when we're on our way. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Ted. We'll talk soon. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm, bye bye. Bye. That was good. All right. Um, so, in that kind of situation, what, what do you? I mean, what's your what's your thoughts on? Offer condolences. Yeah, offer condolences. You've got to calm just, him down a little bit. Just be as like it's okay. We're gonna help you through yeah. this. Like you yeah. just gotta know that. Make them know you're here. Yeah, but and we'll be there as soon as we can. And that seems that like you just have to assure them that we'll be there as soon as we can. So that's what's you know because that's what he's looking for. He needs someone there to mm -hmm. answer questions. So you know when you walk in. You've got to be prepared questions. to answer questions. Yeah. yeah, there's going to be a lot of questions. Police are there. He's already been cleared by the medical examiner's office. So you'll get information like death certificates, and time of death is a definite. After getting some hands-on experience with the local removal expert on how to operate the removal equipment, the fun begins. At the Pittsburgh Institute of Mortuary Science, we have a 180-pound medical mannequin named Rescue Randy. Rescue Randy is used to help get the students into different situations and also see the different positions that people die in uh, to give them some real world experience. And as we know as funeral directors, it can sometimes be challenging. This is this is mom's right here. We we just had her on hospice in the living room for a while. Oh. Okay. Uh, I brought her on with a team with me, so um, okay. you want to keep and see how you have this. Mm -hmm. You want to open this up so whenever you you got to put them on there, cover. Then you can just contain it. Okay. If you have like this and he's on top of it, then you're trying to pull it out. Right. So you want to open you want to open it up as much as you can. 
And I always tell people, make sure you have enough up at the head end so you contain the head. Okay. You, you don't want to, in case like there's fluid or something, you always want to make sure you try to contain as much as you can. Okay. Okay? Richard, you want to come over here? Mock Removal Day is always a great day here at PIMS. We have a lot of fun and the students learn a lot. This experience-based learning activity helps the students learn the do's and don'ts of taking a first call as well as making a removal. If you want to learn more about the great things we're doing here at the Pittsburgh Institute of Mortuary Science, click on the link below and subscribe and stay in touch. Thanks.